up guys and welcome to storage legends you know exactly where we're at right now we are in the hoarder house office aka the office now ladies and gentlemen we're down to pretty much the last little bit you remember what happened in the last two episodes here we go we're finishing up first of all welcome to the episode guys thank you so much for being legends guys remember legends never die and nor does energy it only transfers to another form that's why we say energy with a capital e here i know some of you guys takes a little bit of adapting to do guys there's a lot of excitement a lot of um a lot of energy if you will so without further ado i want to show you certain things inside of the office before we completely shut down this whole entire room and conclude it completely filmed. Number one, step over here really quick. Number one, box right down. If you get in and look right down on the floor, we have a box right to the left and that's filled with nothing but tops 1980 something boxes of cards. If you pan up into the right, you kind of can see a little bit more of the closet. I know we filmed it so many times, but I want to show you. At this point, we're not concluding anything is valueless in this whole entire house. Nothing, nothing is valueless. Good. We did find a very beautiful comic not too long ago. This is very nice. We'll put this aside. Um, again, nothing is valueless. So when we talk, when we look at all these golf clubs, we want to thoroughly go into the golf clubs. We look at the cards. We want to thoroughly look at the cards. But um, as far as these boxes, I'm not really necessarily sure if we went through them just yet. You know, you know what's going on, guys. We already went through the first drawer and it was amazing. It was amazing. We had all these awesome knives, but we also have more drawers. Now, what I want to remind everybody is these packs of cards I've learned are worth a ton of money when sought after players are on the cover. In this instance, Ricky Henderson's a very sought after player. So I would assume that these would be worth a lot more than just face value of a pack of uh, 19, um, let me see, where are they? 19, uh, 86 baseball cards okay you guys comment below and confirm that there's a lot of experts that watch so i do appreciate any knowledge you guys drop in the chat as well as congratulate you guys for buying on the auctions um and yeah so guys don't sleep on the auctions okay here we go um i'm getting nervous i'm getting nervous here oh, let's go ahead and move we're gonna move this oh i don't know if we've seen what was in here Wow, look at that. Old Japan duck toy. These are tin toys. This is probably from like the 40s. Trademark Alps. A-L-P-S. Trademark. A wind-up toy. Very nice. It's the only thing inside the box. It's a good box. Okay. Um. All right, all right. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can get it all the way out. Okay. All right, um, all right, pause it. it. Okay, <laughs> we got it out. Nice. All right, let's see what's inside this bad boy. So we have a tape recorder for notes. This looks like watches. I wonder what's in here. <sighs> Nothing. Oh my gosh, there's no way they could all be empty. Oh no. That was, I thought it was more Disney watches. I was going to trip out. Okay, let's see. Oh, no. Uh, ah, ah. Okay, guys. Let's see what the heck is in here. Look at that. Johnny Bench. Picture cards. Baseball. These are 59 cents, and there's a bubble gum pack at the bottom. I haven't had a bunch of these, so these have to be somewhat rare. If we check that date, we want to look at that date. They said 1980 tops. Not bad. We see about, okay, a little section of cards here. 
See, we have Johnny Bench, Mike Schmidt, Jim Rice. Wow. Does that say Jim on it? Whoa. Whoa. All right. So those are all really good ones. Let's see what the heck this is. Okay. Whoa. These are postcards. Really old postcards. Really old postcards. This right here says James Montgomery. Jack Dempsey knocks out Jace, Jace, Jess Willard. Wow. What an awesome postcard. So there's one, two. Let's see here. Black Hill, South Dakota. Wow. So there's a book. Okay. These are just all postcards, it seems like. They're probably super old postcards, though. Wow. Missouri. Ohio Turnpike. Ohio Turnpike. Let's see what else we have. Snapshots. Tons of postcards, guys. Just tons of postcards. They'll be available on the auction. So let's keep on dissecting this. I'm super scared, guys. Okay, we have just some hooks, some headphones. Keep on digging here. We got tons of cards here. Tons of packs of cards. We got the rookies, Don Russ. The more more rookies. Oh man, there's a ton of the rookies. And we have a Dunruss baseball puzzle and card set. So these are actually extremely good here. Okay. Okay. All right. Tons of Elvis cards, guys. Now, we, we know all about the Elvis cards. There's tons of them. And let's see what else we have in the back here. Oh, this looks like one of those Disney watches, guys. Okay. Oh, it's not in there. Not in there. Okay. All right. That's going to be drawer number one, guys. Let's see. We got two more drawers. Since that one's out the way, let's open up this bad boy. Okay. This one's going to be a little bit more challenging to get out. Okay. But I think I think it's possible, though. I think it's possible. Oh, keep the film running. Keep the film running just in case I kill myself. Oh. Okay. Oh, man, I'm excited here, guys. Look, ooh, we got case, boxes. We got, let's let's dig right in here. We got all these sealable bags that are still good, so I want to grab these, kind of get them out the way. These are still good, still good. Let's see. Okay, this is the moment of truth here. I'm pulling it up, guys. One, two, three. Oh, ho, 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 ho. more seals. More penny sleeves. These are all good. Tons of wallets, guys. Check out all these wallets. I probably have found hundreds, if not thousands, of wallets throughout the time of me going through this quarter house. All right. Okay. Look at all these. Holy crap. Look at how many penny sleeves I'm finding. These are still good. Let's see here. Oh, a gavel. Oh my gosh, guys. I got to dig in here. There's way more penny sleeves. Look at all these penny sleeves. Holy crap. I can't believe it. Oh, a blaster. A blaster. Wow, that's really cool. Let's see what this is. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are these case? Oh my gosh, I think they're case. <gasps> they're case knives. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Case XX. Check that out. Oh my gosh. So we got one. Wow, look at that. We got one, two, three, four, five. We got six case knives in one box. That is such an awesome box there, guys. Case knives could be worth hundreds, if not thousands, guys. If not thousands. Oh, my gosh. Look, look, look. Guys, 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 guys. I see another one. Oh, and it's heavy, and it's heavy, and it's heavy. Ah! <laughs> yeah, there's six more of them. Those are a set. There's probably six more here. We got to look at one. We got to look at one. 
Oh, check that out. Case knives, guys. You know about them. They are definitely sought after. I saw a, a case knife set um, to, I believe, uh, Captain Dave, I believe, bought that. And man, he got a good deal. Sold for like 700 bucks, I think, or something like that. I don't know. Tons of case knives, guys. I'm going to keep on that digging. There's one gavel. Um, let's see. We got a flashlight. Oh, look at that. Tons of micro machines. Old toys. Wow. Crazy. Crazy. Okay. Then we have a bunch of uh, ornaments that need to be painted. Those are unpainted ornaments, guys. Let me know if anybody's interested in the unpainted, unpainted ornaments. Those are really cool. You guys can paint them. Looks like this whole entire section is nothing but penny sleeves. Wow. Collectors. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I found something cool. Whoa. That's a collector's knife. It says Old Stag. Wow. Old Stag collector's knife. I'm popping it out. See what it says in there. It says Tree Brand. Guys, comment below. Is that a good knife or no? Let me know. That is a very solid find right there. That's up there with the case knives, in my opinion. We got more collectors. Collector patches. These are all cases for your cards. Okay, we'll transition over here. Tons more cases. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how many are here. And they're still good too, because if I look in here, let me see. Yeah, these are still good. These are still good for sure. Um, which you don't, you want to look for no yellowing. I don't know why they get yellow over time. You want to look for no yellowing. Oh, look at this. Oh, Larry Bird card. Larry Bird card. Very nice. Very nice card there. We'll go ahead and take this. Put that Larry Bird card right in there. Ugh. Very nice find there. Check that out. Larry Bird, 1988 Fleer. <whistles> nice card there. Okay, let's keep, keep looking at that. It's a calculator. We got a Mickey piece. Okay. Okay. Oh, what's in here? Whoa. What is that? Concrete needles. Oh my gosh, the heck is that? That's crazy. Okay, right, let me keep going here. Let's see what we got. We've got paperwork, more Elvis cards, more paperwork. This looks like tabs. Whoa, whoa, what is this? I don't know. He looks good, though. He looks good. I'm going to put him in. Put him in a little sleeve or something. Oh, peachy. Somebody. Let's see. I don't know. Let me flip him over. Guys, is this a good player or what? Let me know, guys. And number one, thank you for tuning in and being here with the legends. Hanging out. Let's see here. I want to get that in there like that, guys. Make sure that's nice and top loaded. So we have we have another stereo, some gymnastics. We got another pack of cards, and that's gonna be it, guys. Man, it's getting intense. I think we found some really good stuff. I think my favorite would be the case knives. A very awesome box, um, but without further ado, let's get in here. All right, guys, this has been an amazing office. Last drawer, hate to see it come to an end, but last drawer, let's finally look through the final drawer of the dresser. Here it is. Okay. Okay. Let's move this aside. 
Got it. Oh, 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 oh! Let's pull this aside again. Oh, oh, oh man. All right. Okay, so if we look under there a little bit, we see license plates. And we got a bunch of pool sticks under there last time. And yeah, this is it, guys. Here we go. Okay, I'm looking in here. We got some arts and crafts stuff. If I look further and go further down, I see a knife. Oh, it's an awesome knife. Stainless steel Pakistan pocket knife. If I look under here, we have... Oh, let's see what we got here. Looks like a bunny with other things in them. Like an egg and an egg and an egg. Old school folding scissors. And they're in there. Edward Scissorhand. Shout out to Johnny Depp. Um, let's see what else we got. Oh, I don't know what that is. Okay. Oh, tons of old maps. Old maps for directions. Remember, guys, they didn't have GPSs back then. Technology has, like, innovated ridiculous since I, since I grew up. So, got to consider that. Let's see. What do we got here? Um, oh, another, like, tape recorder. Super awesome. Okay, let's see. Come on, baby. You are the last drawer. We have a National, Georgetown National, or Georgia National, 1980 Coca-Cola bottle. We've got another bottle. Distilled Water Company. Okay. It looks like the rest are going to be vinyls. Oh my gosh. No way. Vinyls. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got here. RCA Victor. Let's see. Um, honor Roll Hits. Arthur Murray. Nothing eye catching so far, guys. Merry Christmas. Oh, man. Nothing eye-catching so far. It was the night before Christmas. The great songs of Christmas. Oh, these are Christmas songs. Okay. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. We know that one. Oh, man. All right, guys. That was an incredible experience. Um, I think what we're going to do here now, probably give you like one last glance. Whether we looked at them or not, let's check out these boxes behind and um, make sure... See if I recognize any of it. If I did it, it's been a while, so let's see. Yeah, look at this. I don't remember seeing this. Look at all of these necklaces, guys. These could be sterling silver. There's turquoise in there. Look at all those awesome necklaces. Guys, at any store, let's just say that these came out today. 15 bucks, 20 bucks a piece. They didn't come out today, guys. They're super vintage. So these can be worth tons of money, guys. Very awesome find. I don't remember this box. Um, let's see what's in here. Whoa, definitely don't remember this box. Halloween pins. Wow, these are all Halloween pins with ghosts. And there's a Wicked Witch of the West right there. Wow, these are pretty sweet. These are pretty sweet. I would probably guess that there'd be at least like over a hundred pins just in this lunch box or marker box or whatever it is. Let's see here. It's a one way to tip tip array. Tip array. Let's see. Look at that. Got a sign calendar. Tons of patches. Tons of patches. Wow, look at all these sheriff patches. That is ridiculous how many there actually are. Those are like 15 bucks a piece. Tons of good books here. Let's see what's in there. Oh, oh there's something in there. Let's see. Oh, go tribe. Go tribe with, with a pen. Okay. These are pretty good here. More Cleveland police patches. There's got to be another like 50 or so in here. Guys, 10 bucks a peach on the patches. That's crazy. Let's see. On the patches, I mean, even five bucks a piece on the patches, just, that's a good, good sale, 1908, 1909, wow, these are really old books, okay, so this is a super awesome box right here, 
Oh, 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 this says, this says Felton. Felton. What is that? Oh, it's a pen. Wow. Nice. Okay. I'm pretty sure the previous owner bowled because he was, he was the greatest of all time. So, okay, there goes this box, guys. I think I remember this one. Yeah, it was nothing but leather. This is the leather box with all the leather tools to make leather. Yeah, this is a good box right here. Filled with leather. If anybody's into leather tools or leather equipment, same thing with this one. Look at this. Oh, man. Look at all those belts. All that leather. I, it almost makes me wonder if all of those belts that we've been finding were handmade by him. That's actually something that I would want to know. Now, mind you guys, we would sell 40 to 30 belts in one lock. And if they were handmade, I mean, guys, that's just sounds like a good deal to me. Okay, let's go through thoroughly. Remember, guys, we're finishing up this room. So we did, we also still have this Eagle power line. Eagle, I don't know if I've ever showed you that. I want to make sure I show you guys everything here before we never come back in this room again. We got some knives. Let's see. Okay. We have... Oh, yeah. I forgot there's like nothing in here. Just a bunch of empty ring cases. Yeah. I remember I went through these two. Let's see here. Put this back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did go through these. This is all a bunch of old books right here, guys. Look at that. Wow. Tons more ring cases. We do have a Mark McGuire rookie. That's pretty cool. And then what else is there? Oh, price tags. So that's cool. That's a cool little box right there. Last but not least. Now, we're re-going over this box. I just, this was probably like 20 episodes ago, so let's see. Oh, yep, and then this box is filled with books. Wow. All right. Well, it is official, guys. It is official. The office is officially done. Now, we still have a lot of moving sorting to go through. I'm telling you guys. I'll never forget the time that I took a corduroy hat from this exact shelf. I sold it for a hundred something dollars, guys. It was crazy. That was over a year ago. Guys, before I let you go, I do want to show you a few other things that we still have to go through. Mac Tools. Look at that. Wow. Gerber Mac Tools. Um, this is going to be... A collector's club series. We have tons of die casts. We also have, and I know I didn't show you these, we also have all of these knives. Now, not only do we have complete freaking whole tote of belt buckles, insane belt buckles. Got some Mason belt buckles. We have Confederate belt buckles, deer belt buckles, truck belt buckles, dog belt buckles, any kind of belt buckles that you want. But just so you guys look forward to the next episode, we also have, oh, what the heck are these? Oh my gosh, Transformers. Oh, another Spidey, another Spidey 16, that's $70. <gasps> Another one! Oh my gosh, that's another 70. What is this? Star-Lord. Oh, and then the 2001 Space Odyssey. 
Wow, I didn't even know these were in here, guys. I gotta go and put these up. I actually forgot I put those there. Did you a long time ago? Yeah, remember when we clean remember when the pea smell was super strong? I was like, well, I'm just gonna pick up a little bit. Oh wow. There's a whole bunch of knives in here actually. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, like something like this, chapel, something like this could be worth three, four. Let's see what he had on it. He had $75 on this like 20 years ago. Now, this right here probably is worth a good 100 to 200 bucks, guys. Look at that Remington made in the USA. Real big knife. Got that protection on it. It's oh, a beautiful knife. So yeah, there's tons of knives in here. this is oh there's nothing in there look at all that guys incredible now not only do we have that we have this ford truck we have this filled with knives look at that another one wow that's filled with knives right there he had a 35 dollars sticker on it that's 35 bucks alone, guys, right there. Thank you so much again for watching the video. Thank you for watching it from the beginning to the end. That's the best thing you can do for a channel is watch an episode from the beginning to the end. Guys, this is my lifestyle. This is what I choose to do on an everyday basis, guys. Legends never die. And for the rest of the episodes um, uh, in the next coming series, you're just going to be seeing me dissect this house because this house does not stop. You would have thought that we would have got everything good out of this. You would have thought that we would have we would have ran out of good stuff to show you guys. It's just like not happening, guys. Just two days ago, actually just yesterday, found two more Wayne Gretzky rookie cards. Just today, we found cases of case knives. Get it? Cases of case. The action does not stop. Please hit that subscribe button. God bless. Take care of yourself. Remember, you can do anything you put your mind to, and I'll see you guys later.